what's up and welcome back to my channel thank you so much for joining if you are new here please don't forget to like comment and subscribe so as you guys can tell from the title of this video I am going to be giving you two looks from the new Anastasia Beverly Hills Norvina Pro palette the first look is going to be kind of more red orange sunsetty kind of look second look is going to be more cool tone blues and purples things like that okay so first let's talk packaging so this is a very very big box with the kind of reflective material on the front I mean it just says Anastasia Beverly Hills right there once you open the palette you do get the Anastasia Beverly Hills logo at the top and then this is the palette and this is actually a full-size eye primer that came with the launch edition of the palette I did go ahead and order that one just because I want to have all the goods for you guys so that I can give you guys all the details so this is the box of the palette it just says ABH Norvina collection on the front it is really really cute it's it's hard to see with my ring light but this is 25 shades in here and it's just that same pattern on the front of the palette like I said, there are 25 shades in the palette, and these are the shades. The shades don't actually have names. They actually go like A1 through A5, B1 through B5, so on and so forth until it gets to E1 through E5. There are some purples, some pinks, some reds, oranges, blues. I got a few browns in there, and we have a black, which is D5. We won't be using the black today. I want to show you guys the mirror, but I also don't want to show you guys like all my whole like setup and everything. But just know, it is a really big mirror on here. That's good for me. I really, really like that there's a big mirror on here. The next thing in the package is the Anastasia Eye Primer. This is a water resistant eye primer in a light colored base that creates the perfect canvas for matte and shimmer shadows and pressed pigments. It is, like I said, a full size, which is unusual because normally if you get something in a package like this or if you get something kind of like in a bundle, I guess you would say, they wouldn't send you like a full size of the item, but I really, really do like that. If you guys hear any of those kids in the background, we're currently going through like a hurricane or something like that, so the kids are out of school. I'm gonna be creating two different looks with this palette today. If you guys want to see those looks, then keep on watching. Okay, you guys, so I did go ahead and fill in my brows off camera. However, I didn't carve them out with any type of concealer or anything like that because I'm actually going to be using the eye primer to carve out my brows. So I'm just going to take a little bit of that on the back of my hand. And as you can see, it is a super light shade. It's literally white. So it should create like a really, really nice base. I'm actually just going to take a flat brush just like this. So yeah, I'm just going to take it and load it onto the flat brush and then actually go in and carve out the bottom of my brows and then drag it down to actually use it as the base for the shadow as well. We're gonna go ahead and prime the other eye as well. So y'all know that that's all going to be like 
fixed and everything once I get my foundation on. Just chill, just chill. Okay, so I think that I have that blended out enough. It looks crazy. It looks like I have on like a like a superhero mask or like a burglar mask almost. So I'll be dipping into the shade D3, which is this red shade right here. And I'm going to be taking my Morphe M518 brush and actually just putting that in my crease and just loading that up right here in the corner and then brushing it into my crease. These shades are really pigmented, but what I have noticed is I had to dip into it a couple of times to really get that pigment that I was looking for. I think with cut creases, this primer is going to be like the love of my life because it is so white and it does dry down so quickly that cut creases are not gonna be an issue. It's gonna be bomb. Well, as you can see, I am putting that over my crease as well. I typically have to do that because my eyes, like how my eyes are shaped, and the way that my lids like go back when my eyes are open, if I only put it in my crease, you're never gonna see it. So now that I have that there, I'm going to take the shade E4, which is this kind of dark orange shade, and I'm gonna take that on a tapered brush, and I'm just gonna put that on top of D3, over it, I guess I should say, to give it kind of a gradient look or gradient effect and I'm gonna be also blending that into that color like blending it so that it gets rid of that harsh line above that red and it kind of just like meshes all into one color this look is a little bit out of the box for me because I don't normally do a lot of color in my looks just because I'll be honest with y'all like I don't really go anywhere for real so I don't really see a need to put these types of colors on I mean I love to do the looks of course but there's nowhere for me to go so after we get that color on what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take like a flat brush that's kind of like dome shaped a little bit and I'm gonna use that with the primer again to go ahead and cut my crease Okay, so I did go ahead and cut the crease. As you can see, it picked up a little bit of that red color, but that's okay um, because we're actually going to take that M518 brush again, and we're gonna dip back into D3, which was that original red shade, and we're just going to get that right here on the corner and kind of pack it in right there just so that it's a lot more vivid than it is up at the top. So once you have it in the corner of both eyes, what I'm gonna do is I am going to take a base shadow brush and I'm just gonna use this one from Real Technique. And I'm going to use the color, I'm not sure if I want to use E1 or if I wanna use C2. E1 is more like an orange tone and C2 is kind of like a gold or like yellow. I think I wanna do C2. This is like a more of a sunset 
kind of look here. Oh, it's beautiful. And once I get my foundation and stuff on, I won't look so much like a clown. Great job with these pigments, Norvina, because, and I'm just taking it and kind of like brushing it into that red color because I want them to blend seamlessly. I don't want it to be like a line where that color was. So this is what the eyes are looking like so far. Of course, we're gonna clean everything up with like concealer and a full face and everything else. Alrighty, you guys, so speaking of foundation and concealer, we are going to go ahead and move on to that portion. Today, I'll be taking the new Anastasia Beverly Hills Luminous Foundation. I am in the color 440C, and I'm gonna be using that on the A30 Pro brush, also from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I'm just gonna take two pumps of that and let's get to work so one thing that I really do like about this foundation is that it's not super heavy because it's a luminous foundation it doesn't claim to be a full coverage foundation and it's really light on the face but it still gives me kind of full coverage like I'm not seeing where it's medium coverage or even light coverage like it covers up majority of my blemishes which I really really like and I'm also able to take it and use it to clean up my shadow near my eyes and that was just two pumps of foundation and it covered my entire face so that is a one in my book and this shade actually matches my skin perfectly it gives me a really skin look I normally a matte girl but this foundation actually it is actually pretty good. Next, I'll be taking my Smashbox Concealer, and this will also help with cleaning up the shadow as well. And I'm just gonna put that under my eyes and on my forehead and chin. I haven't really been doing much on my nose lately um, because it kind of does it itself, if that makes sense. Like, All right, you guys, so I'm not really sure when my camera stopped recording, but anyway, Moving on, all that I did was put my concealer on and then I actually set it with the Laura Mercier powder. Next, I'm going to be taking a very, very fluffy brush and my normal contour and actually just taking that and contouring my cheeks as well as my forehead just to bring some color and warmth back into my face. I am going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dewy Setting Spray. I really like how it's like the mac fix plus i like that i'm just going to spray my face after that i'll be taking the omega glaze by mark jacobs on my very fluffy fan brush and just brushing on that highlight i really really like it i originally saw this highlight um on Aaliyah's face on her channel so now i am just going to pop on some lashes and i will be right back all right, so I did go ahead and add the lashes. To finish off the look, I'm actually going to take a small smudge brush and dip back into D3, which was that red shade, and I'm gonna go ahead and put that on my lower lash line. So I went ahead and added that color to my lower lash line. I'll be taking my fave, the NARS Climax Mascara, and adding that to my bottom lashes to complete the look. Okay, you guys, so that is it for the first look from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Norvina Pro Palette. I really hope that you guys like this look. And let's get into look number two. All right, you guys, so obviously the second look begins the exact same as the first look. I went ahead and filled in my brows and added the primer to my eyelids. This one is going to be more blues, purples, cool tones. So I'm going to begin with my Morphe M518 brush. I'm going to dip into this purple shade, which is A3. I'm going to take that brush and get that going in my crease. And like I said, with my eye shape, I tend to blend a little bit over my crease because I want you to be able to see the shades. Now, I don't want it to be like super duper dark on there. I'm gonna go ahead and start working on the other eye. So now that we have that purple shade on, next I am going to take my tapered brush and I'm going to go into D4, which is a very, very pigmented, from what I can see on the brush, blue shade, and get that going in my 
from the corner and blend it a little bit into my crease but mainly focus on that outer V and building it up there. Now, looking at it in the palette, it has some shimmery kind of reflectors in it, but that's not translating so much on my eye. And now the other eye. And I'm using a tapered brush because I want to be able to be a little more precise with where the shadow is actually going. So next I am going to take a fluffy blending brush and just blend those two shades together in that crease just so that we can get rid of any harsh lines and as you can see it kind of blows that color out and honestly if you want you can dip back into A3 with that blending brush, tap off the excess and then kind of blend that over into the crease area where four is now I am going to take the smallest amount of the primer and it's going to be somewhat of a cut crease but not really and I'm just gonna take it and kind of the area that we haven't touched with anything I'm just going to prime that part of my lid and I don't want to go too far up into the rest of the shadow so it's really just going to be my lid so as you can see like that right there is how much i have primed i'm going to do the same thing on the other side so that is how i'm going to be priming just those parts of my eyes then I'll just be taking the color C1 which is this white shade right here on a flat shader brush and I am going to put that right on top of the primer so all I did was add C1 right there then I'm going to take the color D2 on this same brush and D2 is just a kind of shimmery almost lighter blue and it'll show up kind of as like a baby blue on my eyes and then blend that there over into that darker blue color. Okay, and once you get D2 on that part of the lid, that is pretty much the look. I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of my face off camera. It's gonna be the same steps as the first look, and then I'll be right back. All right, you guys, so I did go ahead and finish up the look. I just added my foundation and everything else. So next, I'm going to be dipping into the color D4 on a small smudge brush, and just putting that into my lower lash line. Okay, so I did go ahead and add that, and then I'm just going to take the NARS Climax mascara as always and add that to my bottom lashes and this is the second look using the new Anastasia Beverly Hills Norvina Pro palette I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I will see you guys next time Bye.